Hey guys, um, I wanted to do this video today because I had a sweet customer or follower on Facebook um, who said that she has one of these awesome IOD transfers, but she has not used it yet because she's afraid um, of like messing it up. So, you know, that made me feel really sad and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a, comp a more comprehensive tutorial about how to apply a transfer, hoping that that will help you guys out and make you feel a little more comfortable. Um, I'm going to apply this. This is Astoria Foliage, which is one of my favorites. i um, going to apply this to a wash stand and I'm going to take you guys every step of the way and show you exactly how I do it. The video may be a little long, um, but I, like I said, I wanted it to be comprehensive and I want to show you everything that I do to apply a transfer. So let's get started. Okay. We're only going to need a couple of supplies. Of course, you will need your IOD transfer, um, possibly a ruler, depending on your project, a little bit of painter's tape some scissors and this is optional it's just a cutting mat um, it'll just protect your surface if you have to cut the transfer on a table or something but this is totally optional and that is really it so next we'll get started on our project it, the first thing we want to do is open our transfer um, it has a little tape around the edge i've already cut that and you'll want to save this um, packaging in case you have any extra pieces left over. You can put them back in here. And these are just really great for storing things. They're awesome. But anyway, it comes with a um, stick to adhere your transfer. Um, and then it also comes with this backing on it. And this backing is it's removable very easily. It's kind of it's not adhering to it, um, which is really good. It makes it easy to work with. So this is your, this is the transfer. And I am actually going to put a little piece of painter's tape at the top here because <clears throat> you'll see I want to keep this backing intact with the paper on the back because I'm going to hold it up to my piece and it'll just make it easier for me to kind of hold it all together because you do not want to get <clears throat> dust or debris or anything on the back of your transfer. Um, this is the front and this is the sticky part on the back that the sticky part faces the white. <clears throat> backing. So um, you'll see I'm going to hold this up to my piece to kind of get an idea of layout and to figure out what I want to do. And I think I'm actually going to put a piece of tape, um, tape down here as well because I just want that backing to stay on while I figure out my placement and all of that. And this way I only just can, I can just hold this this piece all together easily. Okay, so now we'll go over to the wash stand and figure out the placement of everything. Okay guys, this is our piece. Um, like I said, it's a wash stand and I've had this wash stand for many, many years and actually it was my mom's wash stand and she painted it way, way back when she painted it black and this is the one, two, three, this is the third time I've painted it. Um, 
So this is kind of what I'm calling like an industrial boho finish and it's a little different but I really I'm really happy with it. So anyway on to the transfer. Okay so the thing about this piece and this is what I wanted to show you guys. Um, this piece is a bit tricky for a transfer. Okay there are several things going on like We've got this little apron down here, and then there's some detail molding here. And then these doors open, and so there's a, a seam there, opening there. And then this part is inset. Um, more trim, a flat door. Yay, that's going to be the easiest part. <laughs> or drawer, I should say. And then we have a curved drawer. So there's a lot of little tricky bits about this piece as far as applying a transfer. Oh, and also it has these molding pieces here um, on either side. I'm not sure if you can see that. But anyway, so I thought, you know, if I could take you guys through the process of applying it to this one, then anything that you apply it to will be pretty easy. Of course, you know, you can have the, a, a beginner way is to apply it to just like a flat chest of drawers where the only thing you have to worry about are the seams, cutting it, you know, in between the drawers. Um, that's the easiest way that I would recommend starting. But um, I wanted to show people how to apply it to this type of um, situation so that you wouldn't be limited by what you want to do. So, okay, so here's your transfer, and the way I'm going to start is I'm going to just hold this in front of my piece. And of course, you do kind of want to measure, and you want to find a transfer that's going to, in general, kind of, you know, fit your piece and be, be the size that you want. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, of course, but... You want it to be similar um so i'm just laying it and it's perfect um width wise like it i think it's it's almost identical to the the piece width wise the length is um a little bit long so i'm holding this in place and then i'm feeling down here and i'm seeing that it's a little longer than um than the pieces uh, but actually there is like a little room up here too so that's no problem I'm gonna cut this piece up um, this transfer and I'm gonna make it work for this project so I wanted just to put it on here and kind of get an idea of like what we're working with and um, so I am going to actually cut off this bottom piece right here I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm gonna apply that down here and that will make it easier for me to um, not have to worry about this and then this all at once I can do this section and then worry about this section next so that's what we're gonna do um, we're gonna cut this part off and then we're going to go from there with the rest of the transfer. Okay, guys, so I have some good scissors and I'm going to start cutting my transfer. You will see grid lines on your transfer, which is really awesome because I can't cut straight. I mean, I really am not good at that. So this will help me. <laughs> Um, I'm so glad that they added these grid lines. They're pretty awesome. Anyway, so just, you know, it, this whole piece is not going to fit on the bottom of that apron because um, at the thickest part, I think it's about two and a half inches, and this piece is about two and a half inches, but then it gets smaller on either side. But that's no big deal. I'll, I'll show you what, how that's going to work. It'll all work out. So I'm just going to cut along here, follow my grid lines best I can. This doesn't have to be really, really perfect either, but 
This really does help you <clears throat> eyeball it and get pretty straight. And I love having this little mat underneath me because I'm not worried about, you know, cutting this table or scratching or whatever. Um, that's just one less thing I have to be concerned about. Also, this painter's tape is good because it helps you to know while you're cutting that your transfer is not shifting too much underneath that paper. So I think that's a good thing to do. All right. Okay, so the next step is to apply this and then we will go on to uh, the doors in that area. So I am going to put a piece of tape on this just while I'm here. Okay. okay, so I have the little section that I cut out and it is going to hit these molding pieces on the side. So what I'm going to do is just hold, hold it up and um, I'm going to trim on either side. So let's see if I trim here. Yeah, I'm going to trim. Let's see. So I'm going to trim this line here real quick. And then this one on the side, right here. And I'll just set those little pieces aside. Who knows, you may use them for something. <laughs> okay. All right, so I am ready to apply this. Now the tricky part is not getting in front of the camera and then doing this well. Just hold it all together and get the tape off. And you don't have to take it off the backing. Um, okay, so then you just place it down. Okay, so you, you just want to hold your, kind of hover your transfer over. And then you want to eyeball where you want it. Sorry, I have to block the camera and you can also use those little grid lines and I'm going to use that lip up there to kind of help me know I'm even because I'm going to kind of use that as a guide. Okay, I'm only pressing this side and I'm going to eyeball this side to see that kind of needs to go up a little bit and I haven't started pressing it. Okay, I think I'm good. So now I will start pressing it into place a little bit just with my hand and then I'm going to use my tool and just start start pressing and you want to use a pretty firm pressure and so you're at, at the beginning you're just going to rub like kind of get all the spots go you know over all the areas at least once your first first pass there and when you have these little seams just make sure you really press use the edge really press into it I'm just pressing along these little details down here at the bottom. Okay, so once I do one 
run through, I then start focusing on one side. Let's make sure you can see. Okay. So then just start pressing, like I said, pretty firm and kind of focus, focus in one area. This part looks like it's already adhered because I don't know if you can see this, but it's more white right here. Um, and I, I can't see as much of the transfer because it's, it's more white. So I suspect that that part has already started hearing, which is great. So I'm moving on to the next area. May go back a little bit because this maybe this tiny little part right here I can still see. Yeah, there it goes. It started turning white. So I think I got that part. Then, so what you can do is you can check check to see. Oh wow, a lot of it's coming off already. Um, then you just want to keep keep going. And see how it's just kind of coming off by itself now in a way. And this part down here is, um, it's the area that is, um, you know, off the, it's where the curved pieces are. So there's no area for that to adhere to. Um, so what I want to do is cut this real quick. So I can show you guys what's going on here. So these little curved parts, you just want to use your finger and press those into the piece. And that is, you know, as simple as that. Um, that's super easy. And then you just continue. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna do that pressing in here on the bottom. And see, okay, so right here, this part has not adhered. Hope I'm not blocking the camera. Probably can't see very close. Okay, so this part right here has not adhered. I can still see some of the black. Um, and then also when you peel it off and you see some on the, the transfer still on the plastic backing here or paper, you, um, you know, it hasn't adhered to your piece and you just lay it back down and then you press. And sometimes it will still look like it's, it hasn't adhered, but it has. So you can gently pull your paper and um, check it. It's going pretty fast, huh? And I'm gonna press these little bits here. And if that bothered you being there, you could always just use a sanding block and sand that off from the bottom. Which I may do. Just go kind of slow. Don't, um, you know, pull it too fast where you kind of pull something off too much and it's hard to put it back in place. So just just be careful of that. Ooh, I like the way it's looking. Oh, that's cool. Love the way it looks over the copper. Can y'all see that? 
I think so. Okay, so I'm just going to continue the same process. It's really coming off now. Okay, so I'll, I'll cut it again just so I can get these little pieces. I don't want them pulling on part of the transfer that's already adhered and like distorting it. I'm gonna pull these little pieces. And then I'm just gonna tuck these back under there. And I'm gonna keep going. And that is it on, on this little bottom part. And I'm just gonna check all my edges. And then you want to lightly, lightly go through with your hand and kind of make sure everything is pressed down. But yeah, okay, that's, that's that part. I love the way it looks. Just adds that extra fun little detail down there. And, um, the next part is we're gonna do this area, which is a little more tricky. So my plan is to, um, we're gonna cut the transfer again. And I'm, I think I'm gonna cut it here, like at the door and here. Um, And then we're going to, you know, because we have the seam, but because this is the trickiest area, I'm going to um, make this part as simple as possible by just cutting it so that I only have this section to deal with at one time. So that will be in our next section. Okay, guys, I folded my transfer in half and I put a little tape over here to kind of keep it together, kind of help me hold this in place. Because what I'm trying to do is to see um, where my transfer lines up as far as where I want to cut it. Um, and this will help me decide like what, you know, what I want to do. So I could have this little molding piece. I could have it start in this little lip area, which that might look kind of cool, actually. Um, let me move this over so I can see. Because I'm trying to see where all the little places are that I, I would want to cut, cut the transfer. Um, You just want to try to keep it even while you're, you're eyeballing this part. And it looks like this line lines up pretty well with that lip. So this is my line that I'm going to uh, cut, cut on here. And so this line right here, and I'm just going to keep my finger there. If I had a piece of tape, I would, uh, I would put a piece of tape there, but I used it here. So anyway, I'll just remember that I'm going to cut on this side of this line. And um, then that way I will have this section right here to contend with. Um, yeah, so we'll do that part next. Okay, guys, I've made that cut in the same way I did that this piece down here and um, I have tape on my my piece that's going here and I'm going to try to eyeball it and tape it into place without pressing it down um, so you're gonna use the tape to kind of hold on to the transfer and 
kind of get it in place. I'm using this upper lip detail piece to uh, guide me on where I want, I want the transfer to end up. Okay, so that looks good. Then I'm going to use my tape right here and kind of press this down. I'm not going to press anything else down just yet because I want to kind of look at this and see see if it looks right um so this piece yeah it's hitting down here yeah okay i think i think it's good um So see, this tape really does help. Um, I wouldn't press it into your transfer that you just put on there, but I just kind of laid it so that it will um, have some support down there. But you're just wanting to make sure that it looks good and it's in place. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And the next part is we'll start adhering this, um, transferring it on. Stay tuned. Okay guys, on these tricky spots, like these molding pieces, um, let me get this tape off here. All you want to do is just, you press your, press it into the spot, then just go down to this little raised lip right here. And um, you pretty much essentially do the same thing, but you wanna make sure to get it underneath too, otherwise it might pull and break in that spot, which is no big deal because then you could just like lay it back down. Um, but see, there's some right here on this. This is a raise, like this part is right here also. So I'm just getting that and then I'm getting it underneath. And I'm moving on to the next section, pressing it down. I'm going to go all the way to this tape here. And then I'm going to get the areas along the raised lip and then underneath the lip there. So. Okay, and I'll just... I'll keep going and then I'll, I'll show, show you, I'll talk you through these little tricky, tricky spots, but otherwise I'm just pressing, um, there is a little hinge here and I'm just pressing the transfer down like I would do anywhere else. And, you know, either it will stay on there or it won't. I, I don't really care. Um, and I could actually kind of sand it off if I wanted to when it's on the little metal hinge. Um, but for now, it's just easier for me just to sand it into in place there. Let's see where we're at. Okay, this part didn't transfer, so I'm laying it back down. Let me move this tape. Um, but I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Let me check. It works really well to rub and pull at the same time, I find. But you just want to peek at it every now and then and um, see how it's coming along. Yeah, that looks good. Yep. And I've got a little little bit of pieces hanging over. I'm just going to smooth those down like we did down here. Um, I'm going to do the same on this lower lip that I did on the upper lip. And what you just want to make sure of is that your 
transfer is lining up where it should be. And I haven't started pressing this spot yet. So you just kind of want to smooth it down. Okay, and then um, the tape is really good. I really highly recommend using tape. It really helps. Um, okay, and I'm, I'm going to just keep going on these outer areas here, these flat areas, and then we'll we'll come. I'll come back and talk about the inset area. Okay, guys, um, this is how I'm going to handle the inset piece. Um, I, I have an X-Acto knife, and it's really a, a good thin one. It, this is a DeWalt, but um, I wouldn't use one of the thick box cutters because these are um, these small ones are pretty. Sh you want a really good sharp one. But anyway, I'm gonna fill along where the inset area is on my piece, and I have this on here pretty taut. Um, my transfer with the tape and everything um, and I've already kind of cut the side but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let me tape this up just I don't want it um, pulling up Let's see if this will help I'm just trying to avoid putting tape on my transfer that I've already done over there on the side. Um, now, keep in mind if you're if you're doing a project that doesn't have all these little areas, you know, you'll ha you can skip this step. But um, but if you have a piece that you really want to put a transfer on, it has all these different elements. At least you will kind of have an idea of how to do it. So. Like I said, I'm just going to use the X-Acto knife and use the top piece of the inset area as my guide. good thing is you'll know where you need to stop and then you can just and I'm barely you know touching the piece of furniture I'm just kind of going in and okay and I'm gonna start on this side so that going away from my fingers I guess and you know you can kind of press this part down to use it as tape so it kind of sticks in place So I missed there. And you might want your scissors handy too. because Okay, now carefully lay that part with the sticky side up. And ideally, if you have some of your backing laying around, just lay that over the top of it. And so now I'm free to kind of press this area on 
and then I'll go back and do the middle in a minute. Um, but I am also going to cut where the door is. The door closes here. So I'm just going to go straight down. That one's super easy because you just run, run your knife blade down. And I'm going to need my scissors to kind of clip here and then clip there. Um, but then, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get this off and then we'll do this part separately. Okay, I've got this um, part of the transfer adhered along here. And uh, you just want to go around your edges with your finger gently and press down any any pieces that um, are not laying down around those edges. Just kind of lightly, lightly go along and press all those down. And so we have our piece of our transfer that we cut out and you want to kind of eyeball that and line it up. The easy thing is that it just, you know, kind of sits back in that, that place um, where it was before. And I kind of, I start from the top and um, kind of work my way down, pressing it. So just, you know, kind of press it, make sure you got the air bubbles out. And then you do the same thing. You just start pressing. Um, to me, this, this way is so much easier. Um, you know, there are other met methods for inset areas, but to me, this is my favorite. It's a little tricky, I, I will say that, but um, but it is it's the easiest, I feel. And I'll continue to press that and I'll pull it off. I did want to show you all one more thing here. I'm going to bring you in close. Hopefully. So over where these hinges are, and then this door opens also. So where these hinges are and then where the door opens, the transfer is just kind of sitting on top. So what we need to do is take our X-Acto knife and cut down through that door seam and cut down on the transfers, little parts there. And then just run your finger and fingernail and then just kind of push them in there. Um, the same thing around the hinges. And just continue down. And just use your fingers and press, press those little parts down. And we'll have to do the same thing on the door down here. It looks like it's going to stay on the hinges, um, especially once I put a top coat on it, that will, you know, kind of lock it in place there, which is cool. Okay, so I'm going to find the bottom of my door and lightly, just like, I'm not putting a lot of pressure with the knife because it's not going to take a lot to cut it. Um, Yeah, actually just go one way because going the opposite direction, you could pull your transfer up. And I'll test this door 
you know, I'll open it and make sure I got all the little spots. And then I'll push these underneath. But um, for now, that's all I'm going to do with that. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to do the other side the same exact way. And then we'll continue on with the next part. But this was the hardest part. And everything else will be pretty easy peasy going, going forward. Okay, we'll be back. I wanted to uh, explain a little more about cutting at um, seams and around hinges and that type of thing. Um, I wanted to kind of bring you in a little closer, but you want to go very slow because if you swipe it down, you could drag your transfer and like kind of pull it off. So you want to just kind of Go really slow. And then once you've gone in an area, just use your fingernails to kind of make sure those little pieces are in there. So same thing around the hinge. Let's go really slow see that one was wanting to pull back a little but just watch your transfer and make sure it's not pulling up anywhere okay just go in and check them and then move to your I'm really just kind of putting my knife in place and pressing it in instead of dragging it too much. Then I'm down at this other hinge. Hope my head wasn't in the way. No, I don't think it was. Okay. And then just, you know, tuck any of those underneath. And then up at the top also. And like I said, you could lightly go along and um, sand these little edges off if you wanted to. But I will definitely put like a little top coat on here and, you know, lay those down really well and put some top coat but yeah you just want to make sure they're laid down in the right spots and you're good hey guys i wanted to talk about sanding your transfer a little bit um as you can see on this right side the transfer is darker um, that is because I've already sanded this side here, the left side. Um, you don't have to sand it. It's totally optional. But for me, it was looking a little busy over here. And I wanted more of the paint finish to come through the transfer. So I used 220. It's a 220 grit sandpaper. Um, and I just have it on top of this sanding block just to make it a little bit easier. Um, but you want to make sure your transfer is totally flat, you know, that you don't have any raised edges. So just go over your piece. Especially in these little detailed areas, make sure that they're all kind of push down um, and then you can just start sanding got a little on the side there I'm gonna get that up but I you want to start with light very light pressure and I you know I just I kind of go in a little bit of a not always a circular just I kind of go like I'm really not.
pressing much at all. I'm just letting the sandpaper do the work. And it is distressing my paint underneath, which I'm totally fine with. And I like that, that it's bringing up some texture. If you wanted to sand your transfer to make it more subtle, but you didn't want to sand your finish, um, what you could do is apply a layer of top coat, um, or a protective layer with a sealer of some sort, you would want to make sure that it's a flat um, sealer. I would use um, Couture Top Coat Dead Flat. So for example, if I wanted to stay in this transfer and I didn't want to change the look of the paint finish underneath at all, what I would do is I would apply one coat of Couture top coat dead flat and then I would apply my transfer and when I do the sanding step um, that would not change the look of the the paint unless you press really hard because you can sand through the um, top coat layer but um, you would have that little layer of protection that would keep it from changing it but with this one, I'm totally fine, and I really like that, and that's actually what I want to happen. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone in a way, but just wanted to let you know that, um, that if you don't want your paint to change, just put a top coat layer. And every now and then, you'll just use something to wipe the, the dust back and, you know, see, check your... Check your piece and see how it's looking as far as the sandings going and see if you, you know, see if you need more. Um, just kind of check it mid process. Okay, I'm going to continue with this and then next we'll get to this drawer and the upper drawer will be done. For this drawer, I have folded my transfer in half like I did before and I am just trying to determine where I want to make the cut. The top drawer does kind of curve out, so if you have your transfer folded like this, it will help you get a visual of where you should tr cut your transfer. Hey guys, we're back with the last drawer and this is the round, or not round, but the curved drawer and it also has this lip here and then this detail up here, which will make it a little bit tricky. Um, so to kind of show you, I want, I want the transfer to come down onto this lip and 
then some of it will probably extend up into here. I don't have to do that part, but um, it the transfer size wise, see it does kind of go up onto that part a little bit. So what I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier is I'm gonna cut this transfer into three sections. I'm gonna cut it just right here past the butterfly. Then I'm gonna cut it here on this side. That way it'll make it a little easier for me to apply it. Um, so I'm just gonna hold it here and do that real quick. And that way I'll just have one section to deal with at a time, which will help me with all the little um, curves and details. Just kind of lay your transfer in the way that it goes so that you won't forget. <laughs> um, what did I do? There's my stick. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna do this like I would um, the ones below kind of line it up and I kind of just eyeball it over that that ridge right there try to kind of just make sure my transfer is straight and once it looks good I'm going to start pressing it and you know it is a little tricky over the curves so if I had that whole long strip to contend with, um, that would be a little hard. Okay, I'm gonna just start over here. These transfers go on so easily. Love that. Okay, so that little detail's up there. Um, and then I like to just put this back and kind of rub the edges a little. Okay, and then we've got our little places at our drawer. I just use the knife to kind of tuck those in. Or you can use your finger too. And then we need to cut along the bottom of our drawer. So just go in there very slow and don't like go in there and drag it. Just go in and I kind of um, saw it in a way, like press it in, bring it out. Oh, I hate to cut the butterfly. <laughs> They're pretty, but it still looks cool. Because when the drawers close, it'll be back together. So that is it. I'm gonna continue with this part. Um, I'll just take my transfer and probably actually what I'll do is I'll start with the left side. I'm gonna do that first and then that way I'll know where to put this one because this one doesn't really connect to anything it was kind of separate it's kind of like probably like right here but um I'm gonna do this side first and then do the middle part
Okay guys, we are finished with our transfer. I love it so much. Um, it just added a really great element to this piece and I love the way it turned out. Um, so just FYI, I will apply Couture Top Coat, which is a water-based um, sealer because A, my paint needs to be sealed and my transfer will just be more durable if it's sealed also. I am going to use Dead Flat, which is a completely flat um, sealer, and I'll be good to go. Um, just another note, this transfer, again, the name is Astoria Foliage. It is a paintable transfer, so you could paint in all these little details in here if you wanted to. You could add some pops of color. Um, but I kind of did it opposite. My piece had color little spots on it, and then I put my transfer over that. Um, so it's totally customizable to what you want to do. Um, but I really think it's beautiful. I hope I have given you the information you need to tackle your project, even if it has a lot of these different elements that make it a little more tricky. Um, but if it's just a, a chest of drawers with flat drawers, then you'll be totally good to go because all you have to do is cut between the drawers and the seams. So that one will be pretty easy compared to this one, but this one is totally doable. And I hope you guys feel comfortable to go out there and tackle it now. Thank you so much for watching. And to get more detailed tutorials like this one, please don't forget to subscribe and to hit that little bell so you'll be notified of my next video. Thank you.